about our water that's why I'm here today. And um, I found out about this meeting accidentally by going online and doing a Google search. And um, I have two different autoimmune diseases, and 50% of my animals have autoimmune diseases. And a year and a half ago, I had my well tested for tetrachloro ethylene from the license plate plant um, contamination. And um, it, it, it tested um, negative. And, um, but um, I was wondering with the contamination from the sewage spill, is there a map that the with the Lacucci, from the with the Lacucci, how does it bleed out from the, from the river? How far out from the river are these wells that we're finding um, contaminated um, with um, chloroform and, and, and the other contaminants, um, E. coli and stuff? And I'm more concerned too with the pharmaceuticals because people with autoimmune diseases, you can't have anyone's um, extra uh, pharmaceutical medication in your system or you're really going to go downhill. So um, uh, is there a laboratory that tests for these um, pharmaceuticals in your well as well? Um, and uh, I also work in um, Brooks County at a uh, plantation and I grow organic vegetables and herbs there and um, I'm concerned about those vegetables and herbs being contaminated from the water there, and I need to get that water tested as well. And I really was hoping someone from um, Valdosta or Hicks County would be here today. Um, and if you don't mind, I failed to ask that while I'm here. Is there anyone representing the city of Valdosta here today? I meant to ask that while I'm here. Just check. Okay, sorry, man. Go ahead. If you're here, we understand. Right now. <laughs> so, it, I mean, um, is flowers the lab that everyone's still using here locally? Um, or are there, okay, other lab, another laboratory to send your sample to? Um, um, and I also wanted to do that for, for um, where I work, <coughs> get that well tested too. They're a lot closer to the location, in fact, the border with the location, so. Um, nervous about that water. Um, and then with my animals being ill as well, you know, there's something going on that, that myself and my animals have in common. So that's why a year and a half ago I went to go check in the well. Um, and I appreciate y'all being here and um, I really, it just sounds like from what everything everyone has said and shared is like just go right to the federal level and just, you know, just, just you know, put the energies to go and on what it would take to take it to a better level. It just makes sense to me. Thank you. Thank you. I just want to, and, and Mr. Moss, is, uh, if, if he'll uh, back me up on this, Hamlin County established some sentinel wells for us to possibly ongoing test. And these are wells that are indica indicative of anything bleeding out from the river. Uh, we have tentative plans to continue that testing right on, and uh, regardless of whether there's a spill or not. So many times in the past, as y'all said earlier, we have been reactive, and we, we take these wells and we're basically got base information, or we lack the <coughs> base information, but uh, Mr. Boss's department over here has established these sentinel wells that we intend to keep monitoring to see when there's a change of any significance. And right now it's just- Can, a, I, can I ask something, Lou? Yes, sir. Have they been in place? When were they put in place? We started before we were influenced by this latest. Uh, uh, they weren't in place back in the Yes, sir. We've always been faced with the fact that if we did have contaminants, we didn't have the baseline to prepare it to. Well, now that's, that's one of the things we're trying to do. And, well, the previous lady had a good question in this, that, 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 in this all science. How far out does it radiate from these rivers? If, if your well test positive for whatever, what's the science behind it? How do you know where it's really coming from? I mean, that's, you that's may the think lack of we have in the it's past. Valdosta, but it may be your neighbor's septic tank's malfunction. I don't yeah. know. And, and, and like I said, with the Department of Health, and it's intent for extended period of time now, and maybe forever and ever as long as the issue there, we don't know. But for the tent right now, we're going to continue testing these sentinel wells for indication of what's happening. From so, so they have not been operational since prior to the other problems. So Correct. So they'll give us some useful information the next time. For the change that, that we would experience going yeah. I, 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 I don't know I if that's we've had some, we did that though. Yeah, I think we've had some uh, folks in Madison County who volunteered their wells 
Uh, so let me let me go down my list. Uh, Debbie. Yes, ma'am. 